I'm trying to restart the systems, but something's blocking me. Whatever's happening, it's taken the ED offline. I don't know what these people would do without me around, like, seriously. As soon as the microwave is off the fritz, nobody knows what to do. It's like a huge issue. Joker's like, no breakfast burrito, no life. And I'm like, come on, man. Get with it. He's like, I broke my arms trying to fix the, the microwave. What else do you want from me, Shepard? Where are we going? AI core. It's in here. This is where Legion was. What's is up, Chuck okay? was? I guess That's so. That's what I'm gonna find out. What is this? Resign powers. Resound power bonuses. I don't have a bonus power. Did I unlock one yet? Apparently so. I've unlocked three. Fortification. Armor piercing ammo and slam. I really don't want any of those, so we're gonna skip on them. What's up, dude? Automated systems have the fires contained. It should be safe to enter. We'll follow your lead. Joke. What's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire. He's not even something. touching his ear. He's like, I have an ear infection. I'm gonna pretend that I'm calming it. I'm going in. Step aside. I'm going in without a gun. What is this guy? Crippled too? Why is everybody on the freaking squad a cripple? Edie, talk to me. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Edie? Shoot it! Yes. <laughs> this is so gay. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. Well, if it means having full access to the Prothean data in its head, good work. I reasoned along similar lines. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. I'll tell you when I need it. Excellent. I will run tests to ensure that it matches or exceeds the capabilities of organic squad mates. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. On that, we can agree. They really have to make her into a squad mate? I mean, really? I don't know. Mixed reactions about that. Crap. <laughs> Let's go see Garrus. Garrus is like, Shepard, there's a huge robot with huge boobs walking around. I think I should run some calibrations on her. Alright, Garrus has apparently locked me out. I know, Primark. I'm seeing the same numbers myself. They don't look good. We have to turn this around, and fast. Well, you can trust Shepard, sir. If anybody can get the Krogan to cooperate, it's him. I'm counting on it. Turning to the Krogan is either the best or worst idea I've ever had. There's no in between here. You did what you had to. I would have taken the same risk, sir. Garrus. Didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. What you saw back on Palavin is proof of that. Still not convinced I should have left it behind. 
See, I don't interrupt Garrus when he speaks because I value my life. I'll interrupt James because he's a bitch. We're not going to beat the Reapers by second-guessing ourselves, Garrus. I need you at your best. Every decision we make is the right one. And when we're wrong? We haven't been so far. There are times I wish we were. Convincing my people the end was coming got pretty rough. They didn't want to hear it. Finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. So you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. We've lost enough friends trying to make sure this day never came. I'd say we've all earned some respect. Then the first Reaper we take out with this gun, it's in their honor. Just give the word. Something else you want to talk about? You mentioned you still had family on Palavin. My father is there. Sister, too. How long has it been since you heard from them? Long enough to be worried. I'm sure they're okay. That's the thing about getting old, Shepard. The platitudes get just as old. Pretty soon, blind hope is all we'll have left. And I hate being blind. I know you don't have any illusions about what we're up against, Garrus. How do you rate our chances? I know it looks bad now. But I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first time since we met, we're not alone in the fight. It's something I learned long ago in CSEC. An imminent and painful death has a way of motivating people. Instead of questioning your every word, whole civilizations are going to be begging you to save them. I just can't believe that they totally scarred up such a face. That man was so pretty power, you still believe before that? this. I didn't say there wouldn't be casualties. It's something Turians are taught from birth. If just one survivor is left standing at the end of a war, then the fight was worth it. But humans want to save everyone. In this war, that's not going to happen. I agree. That's all for now, Garrus. It's damn good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. Garrus and me are bros for life! High five! No? Damn you, Garrus. How can you deny a man with this much swag a high five when he dictates it? What a shame. Alright, I'm sure Liara's got something to say since we captured the Prothean dude. Oh my god, Shepard, I love the Prothean. He's so sexy. He has awesome muscles and 18,000 eyeballs and he I'm hates me. If you don't want to come over and talk. No, the gun battery is nice and quiet. If I throw down some rugs, it'll get downright cozy. Garrus. I'll be fine, Liara. Just gathering some thoughts. All right. I like that there's like little inter squad member banter now. Hey, updates about what? Look, check out these implants she's got jammed in her face. She she's awake. Service operative. Unintelligible. Do you know who you are? Unintelligible. Do you know how much goddamn trouble you're in? Hey, ease up. Listen, you're in trouble, I'm not gonna lie. But that doesn't mean we can't work something out if you help us. We can... EXPLOSION! <laughs> oh, Cough. You okay? I'm okay. Cough. But holy hell, she's dead. What? The whole front of her face is gone. Some kind of ocular flashbang. Well, shit. Is everyone in servers rigged up like this? Dude, servers does not play. They literally put a bomb in your face in case you're captured. I mean, that's some serious friggin' shit to put a bomb in someone's face. Hello again, Shepard. I, I get her to like putting a we'll bomb in like to someone's York. chest, like of the course. Joker did in Batman. But to put it in his face, that's just mean. At your service. Surprised, Liara didn't want to talk about anything. I hate you, Shepard. Why don't you love me, Shepard? Shepard's like, cuz one woman's not enough for this much man. Alright, let's go talk to... There's no one in engineering yet, but let's go update our stuff. I wanna upgrade our stuff. Plus, 
whatever, Cortez, the pilot, wanted to talk to us or something. He's all broken up about something. Cortez seems mildly upset. It's probably a case of those can't have a breakfast burrito blues that's going around the whole place. Nobody can get. Where'd he go? Listen, he disappeared. Oh, there he is. Oh, hey, you. I hope I didn't leave you hanging too long on that last server. Everything is in order. They said you wanted to talk to me. Why am I being lied to? He's like, I did, but you took too long. There's really nothing I want to buy. Let's see. Let's get this Valkyrie to level 10. Wow, I have 114,000 credits already? What have I done? <laughs> Prove weapon damage, ammo, and capacity. Tell me, this Valkyrie gun is definitely growing on me. Whoa, 200% recharge with it now. Now we're talking. I do kind of want to bring a shoddy with me, just in case I run out of ammo. God, everything is still so heavy. The shotgun. Scimitar. Bald in level 5. What the hell's up with Edie? She's found a new home, I guess. A super hot, sexy home. You take her on a mission, I'm gonna be just a little bit distracted. Should we stop over at Omega so you can get I'll a talk hooker? To you later. Cause you if bet. you're ready to bang a robot, there's some shit going down with you internally that needless to say you probably need to like an evaluation. On ship evaluation. <laughs> That's just gross. Everything is in order. Alright. I'm pretty sure they told me to come talk to that guy and he doesn't want to tell me anything. Whatever. I'm not going to sit here and beg him. Please talk to me. What does this do? Shield regeneration. Armax arsenal. Headshot damage and weapon damage. Yes, please. What's this do? Melee damage. No. And weapon damage. Sexy. <laughs> Lights. It's kind of funny how, like, the default stuff looks the best on Shepard. Alright, no one apparently wants to talk to me. I gotta go talk to Joker. And I haven't gone to my cabin at all yet. I gotta go see what's new with it. Totally missed that on my inspection of the Normandy like three videos ago. Now what do you got? My god, this bitch is talking all day. Commander, are you alright? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I didn't have any problems. I you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. That's okay, not against protocol. Our interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper Invasion Front will hit them soon. That's Biotic Academy. <laughs> I'm to help them. What can we do? A Turian Evac transport responded to their distress call. So normally, I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy is being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. That's Cerberus. Put they it did it map. before. Adding it now, Commander. They used the fake signal to lure us to the Turian fleet in the second game. I remember because I've played through it like a billion times. 
And it was an evacuation signal. You lose some manies to get some new tricks, dude. Shit's getting old. What are you doing, Joker? Talk to me. Hey, Commander. Check out my co-pilot. What about her? She plugged herself into Cerberus Tech without authorization. Well, technically, she is Cerberus Tech, so... Not helping, Joker. I've run the checks, Commander. She's still based in the Normandy. Running this body just gives her a little more flexibility. Sweet. Sweet flexibility. Oh my god, everyone wants to right bang this freaking yeah. robot. Am I yes, out of the loop here? Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. She's a robot in a machine. Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions. If I could accompany you sometime. I don't know. I don't think anyone wants you to leave the ship. There is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. Indeed. What a nerd. Is he checking her out? I'll be over here. Flying the ship. Checking out the robot ass. What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. <laughs> Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? I mean, if I give a legitimate here. order, I expect it to be carried out. I'll be responsible for its costs. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer. Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Your core programming? Like self-preservation, not allowing humans to be harmed, things like that? Correct. Don't touch a thing. I see how that could alarm you. That is why I wanted to discuss it before making changes. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you want level-headed answers to help you fit into polite society, I'm not really the right person. I see. I will take that into consideration. What am I, your dad? <laughs> Who is her dad? Call the elusive man, ask him. I'm busy. Killing shit. Saving the world. Alright, can we go now? <laughs> this is really weird. I have very mixed opinions on Come making on, her an actual... What now? In the war room on oh my god. Seems like a good guy. He'll get his people moving in the right direction. He's a good guy with his homeworld on fire. All he committed to is this war summit. And who's paying you two to gossip? Like, what the hell? Every time I come in here, I gotta listen to some chick's gossip. It's like, what the hell? I'm stuck in middle-aged hell. Come on. It's like, I can't just get my scan, my rectal scan. I have to listen to a bunch of chatty Cathy's while getting the rectal scan. It's like a twofer. Who's this? Oh, he's still here? Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship and for going along with this plan. Gara said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibrations. Sounds like Garrus. I'm sorry to say the Asari counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right, but there'll be a lot more blood. Real blood, if we don't try. Well, when you put it that way. The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? Nope. Thank you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Palavan. And mine with Earth. Liar. Let's check out our new war assets. What we get? We got 40 from the Terrians. <laughs> they gave us one ship. They're like, here's one ship, buddy. God, my readiness rating dropped 10% a day? Come on, Bioware. Forcing me to play your multiplayer every day? 
Commander, have you retrieved the Primarch for your summit? Yes, sir. But the Asari are staying on the sidelines. They'll regret that. The time for unity is now. The Salarians will be there, though. You don't sound very optimistic. We expect the Krogan will be joining us, too. I see. Well, then you've got your hands full, Commander. Was there something else you needed to discuss? Nope. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. I'm sick of talking to people. Let's go do something. Commander Shepard. They're like twins, it's so cute. Ebony and Ivory, the twins. Anything else, specialist? I mean, God, you've told me I have to do something like 55 times. Alright, here we go. 20 minutes of speech talking and stuff, whatever. What do we got to do? Alright, meet with the diplomats. What's this? Rescue the students. We can go back to the Citadel. If I remember, Aria like emailed us and told us to come back to the Citadel, so let's go do that. Aria's like the only Asari I actually like. Because nobody messes with her. <laughs> She's a criminal, like, she's a crime warlord. I love it. And I'm renegade, so, like, it's a match made in heaven. Normandy, we are transferring your what is this shit? She's not even talking. Figures. Finally back in action, the Alliance already wants us tagged and collared. Just our way of welcoming you back, Flight Lieutenant. Uh, yes ma'am. Requesting docking permission? Docking permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? Uh, let's go to the hospital. I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. I wouldn't lie, I like the new loading screens, dude. They, they're nice. They're nice. Everything's so glowy in them, too. It's pretty amazing. God, if I knew it was going to take this long to load the hospital, I would not have gone. Yes, I know your stock of modified metagel is low, but... No, you don't understand. This isn't for... Listen, I am a surgeon at Puerto Memorial on the Citadel. We I knew that guy. Here at this time, and we need He's punching. No, regular Metagel won't work. We need the modified version for better absorption rates. Let's sneak up on him. Oh, surprise butt sex. Whoops. Thane, stop punching. Commander Shepard. When I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane, good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend who got hurt protecting me. Ashley. The dark-haired human woman in intensive care. She will be starting physical therapy with my class soon. That's her. If she means something to you, then I will help how I can. As long as she is here. Consider her under my protection. I appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Keppel Syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. I'm back in the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side. And I am not at mine. 
You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. It is not your time, but it is mine. You know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness. And that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Oh good! I like escapism in my video games. Now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. You talk to Fane, he's just sick and slowly dying. Good, I'm glad I came here. Like, what the fuck? Way to bum me out, Bioware. Having a VI drive your body isn't life. Are Reaper husks alive? I don't even know what these bitches are talking about. We were deployed to Tiptree. It's a small human colony. Did not just say that. I did. Why don't you get at me, old lady? I'll headbutt you in the next week, just like I did that other chick. I have no morals. What is wrong with you? I have no respect for anybody. Yes, I'm trying to place a call to Grissom Academy. Oh, I know them. Amp interfaces. I may be able to adapt for Asari use. Listen to me, those prototypes are vital. We need these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. What's wrong with their doc? I know the Ismar frontier isn't safe. Yes, yes. All I can say is that unless we get those prototypes back, this is I'd like an answer, Lieutenant Commander. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you, no more than ever. I still need time. You'll have my answer soon, I promise. I look forward to it. As soon as my tit flash heals, you'll have my answer. Shepard. Douchebag. Odina. <laughs> I got your email. You know he was thinking Made it. Made your decision yet? On becoming a Spectre? Not yet. It's an honor and all. But I don't know. I need to think about it some more. It's a big decision. Smart to give it some thought. How are you doing? Good, considering. The nurse said you checked in on me earlier. Still out cold, I guess. We didn't have time to talk. I thought maybe if you were up for it. Yeah, I wasn't sure you wanted to. You were pretty clear on Mars about where things stood. What do you mean? You're not a part of Cerberus anymore. Case closed. Full stop. It's the truth. Okay. You cut all ties. I accept that. It's just that if you're giving the orders, I need to be able to count on you. That works both ways. It's a damn mess out there. All we've got is the people around us. We have to trust each other or this doesn't work. Deal? Deal. When you're back on your feet, we'll talk some more. Shepard, wait. There's one more thing. I wasn't sure if I should mention it. What is it? I have family back on Earth. I... I haven't heard from them. It's making me crazy. But I know you're busy, Shepard. We can talk later. I've got time to talk. I mean, yeah, you have plenty of time. It's... Only every planet's on fire. Let's we talk about your family. We can't afford each other's throats. If we plan on getting through this, we need to trust each other. I was trying to keep the family stuff to myself, to be professional. I don't know how you managed to keep it all together. I have my moments, believe me. You know, I'm glad to hear it. All right, so let's get on with it. Who's back on Earth? Mom, plus my three sisters. The youngest, Sarah, was away on her honeymoon. Married a military man, Thomas. He got called back in and she was stuck alone. She called me. It's been pretty tough. I imagine. 
I was always there to protect them growing up. Even when I was off on tour, they knew they could talk to me. I told her to come to the Citadel. We could wait for news together. I should get back to it. Take care of yourself. Will do, Commander. Thank you.